All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back giving this another go. Chapter 21. Uh, we're just wrapping up this turn here. I decided to just cut ahead to roughly where I was before I got uh, dunked on by the game. So here we go, enemy phase five. This time we should be in a little bit better of a spot. So I figured out how staffs work, sort of. I still don't understand how magic works in regards to walls and such, but staffs have roughly like 30% chance on Marcia and Titania when they are buffed up with the pure water. And I don't know that it can actually go lower than that. Uh, I might have misunderstood the formula, but from what I understand, it's like staffs have a 30% chance to hit and then every additional point of magic they have over your resistance is another five so if they have like 21 magic and i have 20 resistance they have 30 plus five for the additional point of magic so it's not exactly what i would call reliable <laughs> if i'm understanding this correctly shut up gazatai we don't have time for your shit uh, so it's not exactly reliable if i understand this correctly but there's not really too much else that I can do. By the way, can we talk about how Kasatai has like 14 defense? Where every other general has 26 defense? It's kind of ridiculous. They really did not do a good job of tuning the bosses at all. It's uh pretty insane to think about, I won't lie. Oh, I've triggered reinforcements now. How did I trigger these guys? I don't remember these guys last time. Maybe it has to do with how far along I am in the map, I guess. This guy should be out of sleep. No, he has one more. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, I am going to send Marcia down here to block this area. And now the thief is going to have to go the long way around. I don't really mind having Marcia work on these guys because Teronia will always attack me at two range anyways. And given that, I think we should be good to go. I'm not going to accidentally end up killing him. And that'll send the thief back to the north where I can cut him off with the rest of my dudes. Um, What was I saying though? Right, so the sleep staff thing. There's not really too much I can do about it other than pray. But, don't get me wrong, I actually really do like the way this map is set up. I like it a lot. It's actually challenging, it requires thought and strategy. I know a lot of people aren't really big fans of status staffs and whatnot, but hey, that's, that's the way I like it, man. Thracia is my favorite game in the series for a reason. That game is an asshole to you from the word go, essentially. And I think it makes for more varied map structure i guess it it makes it more interesting it makes each level feel more unique whereas when you get a bunch of repetitive route missions or if every map is c's or whatever have you it <clears throat> the maps themselves really need to do things with enemies i guess I, I what am i trying to say i think that because the sleep staffs and siege tomes are omnipresent in these kind of maps oh by the way boyd is gonna promote here so let, let's put that thought on hold so that we can see our man finally become a half decent unit it's only taken 21 chapters but he's finally gotten here so let's see it boyd let's not fail to impress now i think he's actually pretty good <laughs> this might be the best boyd i've ever had if i'm being perfectly honest well, all right let's see it six hit point holy sh that's what I'm talking about, dude. That's a substantial buff to survivability. Six hit points, two defense. That's nothing to joke at. And he has seven movement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm down for that. Certainly. What was I saying? Right, with the map design. So I do think that the, the sleep stabs and the siege tomes actually do a lot to make you consider different ways of approaching a map. Because certain units tend to get picked apart by magic, as we all know. But... With Sages sort of locked to 1-2 to two range, it's pretty easy to keep them out of range. And they can, they're can they basically unhindered in that sense. Because, really, how hard is it to avoid a 1-2 to two range Sage with one unit? You know what I mean? It's just... It's it's really simple. But when you have Siege Stones in the mix, it's a lot harder to... Sort of distance these Magic Weak units from being targeted. Uh, it comes with its own set of problems, obviously. Being that it's sort of... It doesn't really affect everyone uniformly. You can see that, like, Titania and Marcia, they basically don't care that there are Siege Tomes, whereas it completely negates the use of somebody like Braum, who gets picked apart by Siege Tomes. Uh, Boyd, to a lesser extent, gets destroyed by Siege Tomes. So it is, it is sort of an issue in that it kind of makes better units even better than they already are, just simply by the fact that they can deal with these Siege Tomes and they can deal with these status stabs. But it's definitely 
a step in the right direction, I think. And a lot of that has to do more with the balancing of how certain characters are. Like, Marcia and Titani would be broken in any game. There's there's no way that they would ever be balanced. It, it just can't be done. I refuse to believe it. You will never convince me that humans with these stat distributions, with this kind of availability, with this kind of utility, you can't tell me that that's fair. You know, compared to, I don't know, say, Brom. Or Zehark, even. Zehark's actually not bad. He's been putting in a decent amount of work, despite the fact that he's a level 15 Myrmidon uh, nearing the end of the game. But it's really more of a unit issue rather than a, a map design issue, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and heal up Kieran. Kieran's actually been really, really useful this map. I, I'm very surprised. He can still take hits. He's not getting doubled. He's not necessarily very strong. Not at all, by the way. Not at all very strong. But just being a mount is just that good, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's uh, really a good thing, but... It's the truth. He's been kicking ass. He's been helping me reposition dudes, and that's all I can really ask, all things considered. Where? What was I saying? I, I honestly can't remember what I'm saying, but I, I do just want to say that I do like this map. I thought it would be terrible, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, really, the bigger... Thank God she dodged this time. Really, the bigger issue is that some of the data isn't transparent. Like, I don't know how many tiles something can target just by looking. Just because the Siege Dome has 3 to 10 range does not mean they can target 10 tiles. Same with the Sleep Staff. Just because it should, in theory, be 10 tiles does not actually make it 10 tiles. Uh, compounded with the fact that staff use... Uh, that's, uh... What do you want to call them? Status staffs. They don't have a display range option, which is really weird. I don't really like that. Oh, but we have Tyronio here. I should probably get on with that. <laughs> I will cut you down with ease and leave your corpse for the rats. Chill, dude. Oh, ouch. Well, that's fine. I still have a elixir on Marcia. An elixir, if we're going to be grammatically correct. So, despite the fact that we take a huge hit there, we should be good. We should be fine. Or so I'm hoping. <laughs> Jeez. Mmm... Yeah. Yeah, the Siege Tomes don't really bother me too much on this map, though, honestly. Towards the uh, the boss room, that's pretty devious. Uh, because there's multiple Siege Tomes, so you, just by approaching the room, you're going to have to deal with both a Bolting and potentially a... What, what did the other guy have? A Blizzard, I think he has? So you're going to have to deal with multiple instances of Siege Tomes, which is probably, again, for the better. Because when you have just one Siege Tome... At least in a situation like that, where you're approaching an area, right? So you're, not, you're not necessarily fighting a large horde of enemies. One Siege Tome can be dangerous on its own when you're fighting multiple enemies, and oh god. Oh no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> what happened here? That's not good. Hold on, I can, I can pull this out of my ass. L let me think about that before I get back to what I was saying about the Siege Tomes. Mist has seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, look at that. Perfect. It's like I was planning this the whole time or something. I, I was not. But I'm going to rescue Titania. I had the rescue step because originally I was going to try and have Khalil snipe the thief. But I thought, nah, she's kind of... Well, she's very useful. She's very useful. That was a lot of experience. She's very useful on the front lines, though, so I don't really want to have her left out of the action. Yeah, that should do it. Covered my ass there. And if I put Zahark in a position where he has to be attacked from melee? Yeah, I'll put Zahark here. And I don't have the vulnerary anymore. Hmm. What I'm trying to do is have one of these guys attack Zahark in melee, and then there's a good chance that he'll just Astra and kill said warrior. It's really the only way I can think of to get around with that. Three more, and they all have short axes? Come on now. Come on now. What's with this huge disparity in hit chance? Oh, Byrhythm, really? Of all things? Wow. Wow. Never thought I'd be paying attention to Byrhythm. Uh, so I'm gonna give Zahark this. Jill is holding Volk, by the way, so that is a little bit unfortunate. Not preferable by any means. Then if I put. can't see because of the name. There we go. 
Uh, no, I can't block off Jill. That sucks. So Jill's gonna have to take a hit, but that's fine. She'll easily survive. And then if I put... Yeah, and then I put Stefan here. And then in theory, the warrior has to attack Stefan in melee. Which is the preferred outcome, obviously. Uh, Oscar needs to get out of there <laughs> immediately. He's no good in that situation. I, I totally lost my train of thought, I'm not gonna lie. I think I was saying that... I like the way that Siege Tones are incorporated into the throne room. Because it makes you think a little bit more about who you're sending in there. Because you can tank one Siege Tome hit with just about everybody, right? But two Siege Tome hits is a little bit harder to come by. Tanking two is a little bit harder to come by. So, in that sense, I do like what they were doing, and you basically have the opportunity to challenge this area on your own terms, right? You're not forced into a situation where you're contending with all of these guys, and also you're getting pelted by two Siege Tomes. That, I, that's happening to me, because I'm choosing to do that. But you, you don't have to, you know what I mean? Uh, that being said, it's going to make it a bit hard to approach here, although the Blizzard's basically done now. Which is another thing. I like that... I like that running the Siege Tomes out is actually a valid strategy in this instance, and it's not just me... Excuse me. It's not just like a like a turtling thing, it's... It's planning out how to strategically make them waste their Siege Tomes so that by the time my guys are coming around the corner, I only have to deal with one, which as I had just said, one Siege Tome is not a threat. Not particularly, right? So it actually adds to the strategy rather than detracts from it by having these two guys in the middle room because I was able to drain one of them with Marcia before, you know, the majority of my army is really in any danger. Uh, so if I give Ike a... not a Siege Tome, a Pure Water, he should be able to take two hits in worst case scenario. So he would have 20, so that makes... 20 resistance that is, so he would have 13 damage and 7 damage, so he would survive. So let's... yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Now, one thing about this map I am not necessarily a fan of right about now would be all these reinforcements. What the hell, man? Let's make sure we have that on. Absolutely. Ooh. Can Kieran still rescue Boyd? He can, so I can give Ike the the pure water. And then I'll have to rescue Boyd out of the way because he definitely can't take two siege tomes. Even if I were to use the pure water on him first, it, it wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, it, it just would not make a slightest bit of difference. So let's see. I'm just kind of thinking how I want to deal with these guys, because if I send Khalil in, right, she'll get murked, most certainly, and I don't want that to happen. So I think I'm just going to leave them be for now. The Sleep Staff is no longer relevant. So if I barrier up Ike and start heading around this right-hand side, I think that's the way to go. No real reason to go around to the left-hand side, I'll be honest. Mm, I could attack these guys, no real reason to. Now, see, if they could counter with Siege Tomes, I might consider doing it just so this guy couldn't attack me, but... That would be kind of a neat thing that you could do, but no, that's actually not an option, so... We'll just rescue a Boyd. And it doesn't look like any reinforcements can spawn from this left-hand side, so... In that sense, we should be alright. I kind of want to start breaking down some of those doors, but I'm afraid of what might be inside. If there are more warriors, like, I have Zahark right there, you know? And provided they have axes and not the other weapon they have, bows. <laughs> yeah, provided they have axes and not bows, Zahar can actually do some work. But if they do have bows, he gets smacked. And I don't really want to deal with that. I don't really want to deal with that at all. Nice dodge, Khalil. Didn't he have like a 60% shot? Jeez. So Marcia's going to weaken these guys. Potentially even kill some of them. Crit? Adept? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Which is great, because by the time Ike gets down here, that means that's that much less for me to deal with. She might even start working on the Swordmasters, which would be great. Because she's really the best unit I have for Swordmaster fighting. I think she's like the only person I have, period, that doubles them, in fact. And soon, she may not even do that, because they're going to start getting max speed, I should imagine. I should imagine. I guess now all we have to do is see how the rest of this is going to play out. Uh, preferably no more reinforcements. I think you made your point. And I'm pretty sure Ina said that there weren't going to be any reinforcements to begin with. So what's the deal with that? <sighs> There's only so much you can do though. So I guess we're going to continue plowing through these guys. Titania not in any danger. Uh, 
I mean, I would say that's the status quo, but she did die on me uh, through a series of unfortunate circumstances. But she did die nonetheless. But I think in this case, she should be just fine. I can't really see that going south. And we are able to start picking off some of the Swordmasters, which is the bigger issue here, I should think. Why is, why is the... The thief doesn't even know what he's doing. He has no idea. <laughs> you see that? He's just running back and forth. It's very interesting. I wonder why. Because, yeah, he can't get to the treasure. So, like... Huh. Maybe he's just gonna accept his fate and just commit suicide on Marcia. I guess that's what's gonna happen? I... I don't know. She just took out that entire unit of generals by herself. Damn, girl! Okay, that definitely hurts. That definitely hurts a lot. But she can survive. Which is all that really matters to me. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do the thing with Stefan, though. He's not, uh... He didn't draw him in. Hmm. Okay, bud! More short axes, more short axes. Well... This time, I think if I... Yeah, if I put him here, though, they have to attack him in melee. There's actually no alternative. I just want to make sure that I stay out of range of the bowmen. Even Oscar can start helping out, because now they're chipped enough that... I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable to do that. Or, well, no, not really. <laughs> Oscar's kind of weak. Oscar's pretty weak. Maybe it would be smarter to just... To just not mess with that, I guess? I... I don't know. It's hard to say. It certainly is. Do I take two with Stefan? No, so I'm gonna use the Vulnerary just in the off chance that uh, it comes to that, I guess. Hmm. See, this is a thinker. So, I could kill one of these guys, preferably this guy with Oscar. Which would mean Titania could tank over, or tank over, take over tanking duties for down here. And that might be a better situation to be in. Jill's obviously going to run away. Got to keep turning on these siege tome ranges. I don't know why they keep disabling themselves. I feel like... It's probably because I press B to like speed up the cursor. I imagine that's probably it, but maybe they're disabling on enemy phase. Which would be a strange choice for sure. Uh, but what, what I was saying was, if I kill this guy with Oscar, which I think I'm going to go for because it's my best move, thinking about it. So I kill this guy with Oscar, I kill the Bowman with Titania, and then she can reinforce Zihark more easily that way. Let's see a good one. Hit point, strength. Mm, skill, luck, I guess. Eh. No speed, because I do have the Night Ward on Titania just because I wanted that plus two resistance to help out with the Sleep Staffs right off the bat. Uh, Oscar's gonna retreat for sure. Yeah, he's gonna retreat for sure. This guy... Hmm, another thing is that Titania's weapons are looking kind of bummy. I guess I'll just use the... The Steel Lance, because it's the most disposable weapon I have. And even if she starts getting hit, she has soul. So, I mean, sooner or later, she's just going to go back to full. And another amazing level up for Titania. When does it stop? When does it stop, Titania? Spoiler alert, never. I guess we... Yeah, I guess we're gonna bank on the fact that Zahark should... Or not Zahark, Stefan should dodge at least one of these. So I'll move him here. Actually, he needs to dodge too, but again, it's statistically in my favor that he does so. So I'm gonna do that, use a vulnerary, and pick my god and pray. Now, I'm holding on to Boyd. I don't really need to do that. I guess I should heal a bike with Mist. Simply for the fact that he's in Siege Tome range. But if I do heal him up, he won't be able to be taken down by this before the bolting is out of its uses. So I'll use Mist to heal him up right now. In fact, Mist is basically... She's perfectly fine. Yeah, she's perfectly fine moving into range as well. I think, right? She has decent resistance. Yeah, 13 is enough. 13 is enough. It doesn't really matter what her health is as long as she's not dying. So I can pretty freely just heal a bike. And with the pure water, he's not taking enough damage for me to be concerned for him. He's going to continue pressing on. Maybe I... I mean, I could draw Tyronio into range of like right now. 
which might be the way to go. So if I moved Marcia here. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll move Marcia here. And worst case scenario, she can still position herself in front of that door if the thief gets out of hand. So yeah, this is fine. And that way on the next turn, Ike will be able to recruit Tyrone. Oh, I mean, he'll be able to talk to this general. No particular reason. And we can get something going with that. Unfortunately, I can't one-shot these generals. Or one-round them, rather. Huh. Oh, I don't think that's going to matter at all. I don't think that's going to matter at all, honestly. I'm holding to Boyd. Yes, I'm holding on to Boyd. Honestly, Boyd might be good to start helping out with these doors here. So I'll drop him off with Kieran. Just to give Oscar that... Oh, this guy had a killer axe. Hello. All the more reason to do this then, because I don't want to get critical gimps. What else can I do on this turn? Not really a whole lot, honestly. I guess Sahar can make him w make his way over on this way. Yeah, that should... I mean, that should really do it, honestly. I could try to break down these doors. I'm scared of what's inside, though. I I'm terrified. I'm honestly terrified of what could be inside. And now Tironio is going to go ahead and get himself recruited, which is great. Provided that Marcia doesn't fail to kill somehow this uh, this Swordmaster. I can't see that happening, though. So Mist is going to take 8 million, but she survives, which is all that I care about. Don't crit Boyd, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. That could have been... That could have been atrocious. There's really not too much you can do about that kind of thing, though. If you get crit, you just get crit. That's the way it's really always been with Fire Emblem. So, provided that Stefan can get at least two dodges to his name here, we are looking pretty good. And there it is. So, Stefan can't die. And then Titani can take over. Hit points, strength, speed, luck, defense. He got luck, which is amazing. And strength and speed in the same level. So that's basically perfect. Can't really ask for too much more. I mean, I could have asked for him to not get hit there, but that is asking an awful lot, I agree. Nice, nice, nice. So now I get another chance to kill yet another one of these warriors. Which is good, because they're piling up fast. Not that they're particularly dangerous, but the odds are in their favor to eventually kill Stefan. Looks like we're going to kill another one. All right. Although that was <laughs> that was a lot of uses of my Iron Blade. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot of uses of my Iron Blade. Okay, nice. Let's see another Astra? Nah, that'll do, though. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Hopefully, that'll be it for Warriors, because let's be honest, how many do you need? That was like 12 of them. <laughs> Chill, my friend. I think we're looking good. I want to have Titani take over down here, though. Absolutely. And as long as she's standing where Stefan is, she can do the same thing, where she forces the... where she forces the Warriors to attack her at one range. So even if things kind of go south, we should be good. I could use the Tomahawk. I, I mean, I guess. Nah. No real reason. I am kind of banking on the fact that Soul is going to kick in. So I might want to heal her up. I might want to heal her up. I think Mist finally has an actual staff range, so I can do that. And from there, we should be okay. I think. I've been wrong about these things before, but... Oh, alas, I can't even... I can't push Volk. That's a bummer. Yeah, that's a right bummer. Uh, well, I guess I can start breaking down the door, right? I mean, I can't crit a door, right? Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I have to do it like that. I didn't do this correctly. I didn't do this correctly at all. Not at all. It would be much smarter to go right to left. Thinking back on it, because... Yeah, it just makes more sense to do it like this. So I'm gonna move in with, like... Let's talk to Tyronio. Yeah, take this! What is it? Why are you staring at me like that? I am Tyronio, a general of Day Inn. Young general of Crimea, I have but one question to ask you. Your swordsmanship is familiar. Who taught you to fight in this way? 
To the best of my knowledge, that style was used by only one man, an old friend of mine. My father, he taught me to use a sword. Is that so? Then you are Gavain's son. Wait, are you a friend of my father's? We were good friends, long ago. How is the old goat? My father no longer lives. He was defeated and slain by a day in general. That can't be, for the Gavain I knew to be beaten. Who was it? Who took him down? A knight encased in black armor. The Black Knight, huh? I did not know his strength had grown so much. Interesting. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have one sister. In that case, I will not fight you. That would not... The world must not lose Gavain's style of swordsmanship. I surrender. You may lock me away or execute me or what you will. I care not. Are you sane? Very much so. I had already decided that I would die in this place. I have served this country for many years, since the time of the previous king. But the current regent, he rules through fear and wants nothing but war. I can abide it no longer. If you plan on dying anyways, just join <laughs> Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, sure, I got nothing better to do. Uh, we have need of strength such as yours. You would take a former day in general? I cannot. Your fellow Crimeans would resist. They would never accept it. Dude, we have like six day in soldiers on our side right now. Our army does not have the luxury of being so picky. Please, lend us your strength. As you will. I've already thrown my life away. If it can serve you somehow, then you may use it as you see fit. And just like that... I, I think he is. He's one of the four riders, right? So one of the four riders joins our team. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, let me pull up Tyronio real quick. So, Tyronio, one of the four riders of day in a level 14 general and man with an unmistakably awesome 70s porn mustache. As for Gross, he has 60% HP, a little bit low for a general to be honest. Uh, 55 strength, 5 magic, 50% skill, 30% speed, 15% luck, 60% defense, and 40% resistance. His base is all around pretty solid, but he does have the unfortunate fact of being a general working against him. He comes on a cold scroll, which is nice, and a spear, the strongest throwing, uh, throwing lance, I guess, in the game. Uh, not counting forges, of course, but not only does he have pretty solid bases all around, he comes with the Resolve skill, which is one of the best skills in the entire game. And it turns him into an offensive powerhouse, whereas other generals would really struggle to do a lot on enemy phase. So how this works is if he's under 50% of his HP, his strength, skill, and speed get a 50% boost. So if he has 20 strength and he's under 50% of his HP, now he has effectively 30 strength, which makes him that much stronger. It's a very, very good ability. Uh, there's only one other chance to get this skill in the game. One is on Tyronio, obviously, and then the other one you can get from a scroll uh, much, much later down the road. So, even if you're not a, the biggest fan of generals, you gotta admit that he has a lot of things going for him. He comes for free, and he can basically service any of your tanking needs that you could ever really want. Plus, I mean, look at that mustache, dude. He looks... This is, this is a man's man right here. I don't know how else to put it. I don't care what you want to say. This is a man's man. Tronio, really awesome character. Not going to be using him, unfortunately. But he's going to get some use here in this map at the very least. So, let's see what we can do with him. Uh, Marcia is going to go back and continue to troll this thief. I could actually just kill the thief outright. I could just kill the thief outright. Because he's kind of bothering me. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like what he's doing here. I'll think about it. Yeah, I'll just kill the thief outright, actually. Tyronio's not in any danger here, right? He shouldn't be. Oh, <laughs> oh my, no. He actually just crushes them. He actually crushes them, so let's just let him do that. Let's let him be about his business. And I can kill this thief, which will also allow me to draw in the sage. And maybe if I kill Ina, the reinforcements will stop, which would be nice. I don't think it actually works like that in this game, but it's a nice thought at the very least. Besides, we get that juicy thief VXP, so let's see it. Oh. Wah, <laughs> wah. She didn't max strength this time. That sucks. I swear I've had at least one instance where she wasn't max strength, but I had to restart for one reason or another. <sighs> we'll get there someday, though. Someday. Soon. But not today. Now, there should only be one more Siege Tome used, so even though Tyronio... Well, actually, his resistance isn't even that bad. Yeah, he has 14 resistance at base. So that's not even that bad. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Essentially. 
All I really need to do from here on out is to ferry Volk around and start hitting these treasures. Because this map is looking like a wrap, I'm not going to lie. Kalil's going to keep heading this way as well because she does well against generals and I don't really have a lot of people that can say that. See, I'll just I'll just keep bringing her along. Kalil's turned out so good. I don't remember her being this good. Honestly, it's been, it's been a while since I played this game, mind you, but still. She's incredible. Alright, let's see what happens here. As I thought, the sage is going to kill himself on Marcia, which is great. He might actually survive, I'm not sure. Some of them do, which is annoying. Yeah, he does. Oh, well. Oh, well, nothing you can really do. Why Marcia? I guess he just really doesn't care anymore, huh? Yeah, wow. That's a shame. I guess I can turn on Tyronio's animations, or I can turn the animations on at this point in general. Don't really want him on enemy phase, obviously, but might as well see what this guy looks like. Besides, he's doing a really good job of choking this point, and that is something to be admired. Okay, Titani just needs to get soul periodically, and we're totally fine. I'm not really worried about this situation. It's really unlikely that she dies here. They all have, like, 50%, 40 to 50%. And then there's always the fact that so many things can go her way. She can crit, she can soul, she can just outright dodge enough of them for it to not matter. And besides, I don't even need to kill them, really. I just need them to not be able to progress, essentially. I just need to distract them, basically. And she's doing a fine job of just that. Yeah, let's turn on the animations. I'm definitely going to just send Marcia right into the middle of all this. I do not care. I do not care, guys. In fact, I might as well have her attack this here... Is that worth it? I guess the bigger question. Can Ike attack over this wall? He actually can. Nice, nice, nice. Let's do that then. Let's do that. Let's go, Ike. Big Ike. There we go. I didn't show it, but he actually got a pretty decent level up in this chapter, so that's going to help a lot. He needs a lot more of them, though. He needs a lot more. This is definitely one of the more lackluster Ikes that I've seen in a long time. I mean, we might as well go for this. Might as well. If not, Khalil is right there anyways. Okay, now see, that's an animation. That's an animation. Tronio just looks badass. Maybe it's just me. I never really do care for generals, which you might have picked up on by now. But I won't lie, I've got a soft spot for Tronio. Cool guy, cool guy. Oh, I only have four more uses of my javelin. Ah. <sighs> I should have taken the spear. Should have taken the spear. Alas, well, with the... What do you want to call it? With the Siege Tome gone, I'm a lot more free in what I can do. So Jill can go down there to support. I think I just fucked up. What? There's a Siege... What? No, that's, that's actually horrible. That's actually just so bad. That's actually so fucking bad. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that is so bad. So Tanya has a new job. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious. Like, you can't actually be serious, right? A siege stone. That's such an asshole move, dude. That's such a dick move. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, that certainly happened. I'm going to have to take Boyd off to Tanya's hands, give her the Tomahawk, and run the hell away. Let's see, everybody... Well, I really need to retreat with just about everybody now, don't I? And that sucks because that gets rid of my ability to choke that point. Boyd would have got destroyed, so it really had to be Titania. It really did. I don't really fear for her life. I fear for Zahark a little bit. Or why do I keep screwing these two up? Stefan. I fear for him a little bit. Uh, this guy is considerably weaker than the other mages, though. He has 29 magic, so Stefan can survive. It's just... It's not an ideal situation, really. Oh, yeah. This is far from an ideal situation. In so many ways. 
I do think that... Yeah, I'm fairly confident that Volt can survive. I know that much. I also think that it would be in my interest to get some kind of ranged weapon to Titania after all. So I'm going to heal up Jill and have her ferry over a hand axe. I think that's the way to go. I've still got so much time anyways because basically I just have to wait for Marcia to clear out this room. <laughs> which she's going to do on her own, let's be honest. What else is new? So I guess we start on that. I'll kill this guy, I'll kill the Swordmaster. Don't really want to break my forge, you know? Yeah, I really don't, so I'll just use the Steel Lance. Oh, an Adept, nice. Don't have to worry about a counter in that case. I'm really wishing there were some kind of chest keys in this game. <laughs> it feels like they're so scarce in so many games, and I get the reason why. It's to make thieves serve a function, I guess, but... Getting Volk to all of these different rooms is going to suck, especially when they keep dropping Siege Tomes and other crazy stuff behind the doors. Guess that's just the way it is. I should be good as long as... As long as I can kill this general with Titania. Not necessarily this turn. No, I think I messed up. <laughs> I actually think I screwed up. But it should be fine. I just need to make sure that... Kieran is out of range. And from there, things can't really go wrong. Everybody in range can take a hit if need be. Nobody gets doubled. Right? Nobody gets doubled? Nobody gets doubled. So we should be good. I do want to think about getting Titania a new weapon, though. Absolutely. Yeah, that should do it. These guys just don't seem like they want to move. Oh, I think I forgot to move Ike. No, I forgot to move Khalil. Not Ike, but Khalil. Okay. That's fine, though. This is what bishop looks, bishops look like. Not sure if I've showed that or not. Looks like an easy target to me. Not gonna lie. I'm not really sure how much of this I'm gonna be showing. Let's just make sure that we survive. We should survive. I, this guy can't kill Stefan. He can't even hit Stefan because he sucks. And this guy has to attack at one range because of the way that the enemies are set up. So yeah, actually we should be just fine. Because even if... Uh, even if Titania can't kill the general outright... I can still use Jill to do that, and she can just hide inside the room along with along with Volk. So I don't actually have to worry about the warriors too much, and then maybe I can even do some cheeky things where I can get Volk moving a little bit faster. I don't want to have to kill all of these warriors just to make that happen, but I might, honestly. It depends on how much I can deal to this guy, which is probably not a lot. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. However, I do have the hammer on Titania, so she can blow this guy away, and then... Jill will be able to easily blow away the Siege Tome asshole. And we can all move on with our lives. See, a crit there would have sucked. <laughs> Thinking back on it, yeah, a crit there would have been horrible. A crit there would not have been fun. Oh, and we get a killing edge for our troubles. Alright. Alright. Maybe I should have just had the... The Wind Spear equipped, just so that I don't have to deal with this. Because I do, like, 9 damage. <laughs> yeah. I do about 9 damage. They don't have any way of healing now, though, so they will continue to attack me, even if they become weakened, which is, you know... It's the big issue, I suppose. It's what really matters. I think I want to kill that guy with the Killer Lance. Absolutely. Don't really like the cut of his jib, not gonna lie. He could easily screw me. And we don't really want that. Speaking of getting screwed, uh, well, <laughs> fortunately this guy is of no concern. It's really this halberdier. So I think we're still good, but that that was uh, unfortunate to say the least. Out of curiosity, how bad is this stiletto here? Oh yeah, that's effective damage. Yes, sir. <sighs> hammer it is. Yeah, it's got to be the hammer. I can blow through this guy and then I can easily kill the the uh, Siege Tome dude with a combination of Jill and Volt. What the hell? He had Wrath? Why? <laughs> that was Wrath, wasn't it? That's an asshole move, game. 
Not gonna lie. Guess I'm starting to check for skills now. Uh, what else do we got? Anything? He had something, man. That had to be Wrath, right? Because the because of the red animation. Speaking of, I haven't even talked about Ina at all. She's actually pretty scary. Uh, these stats are nothing to really trifle with. She doesn't have a lot of speed necessarily, relative to some of your boss killing units. But 25 defense, 25 strength, compounded with her fiery breath. So it's, she she hits hard. She's relatively accurate because Dragon Breath is in itself very accurate. Uh, I might even have to wait for Miz to get closer because I'm not sure that Marcia can comfortably take her on, to be honest. I guess we cross that bridge in a few moments here, after I clear out the rest of these losers. Uh, a death would be nice because I really don't like playing around with crits. He can't actually kill Marcia either way, but like... It's a scary thought, man. It's a scary thought. Yeah, I'd rather draw them like this way and away from the rest of my units. Oh, she also has some pretty interesting skills. So she has renewal, so she restores even more HP on top of the fact that she's standing on a throne or a gate or whatever they're supposed to be in this game. She gets healing not only from that, but also from her renewal skills. She has Miracle, which is obnoxious. <laughs> Whenever you're going for a killing blow, she has the chance to cut said damage in half. So if I'm going to kill her, she has a chance to survive. And then she also has... What is this? I can't remember what it is, but it's it's actually an interesting idea for a skill. It's basically a restore staff to any adjacent units. So if she's next to a unit that gets put to sleep, for an example, uh, it will restore their status. Which is neat. I can't remember what the skill is called off the top of my head, but there you go. So she's actually a pretty formidable boss. You can almost kind of see why Ashnard was like, yeah, just leave it to Ina, man. I don't think they necessarily counted on us being this powerful, but uh, there you go. See, now those staircases got me shook because I feel like I'm going to move into this room and then something's going to spawn from that staircase. <laughs> and I'm not going to like that. I'm not going to be too happy if that happens. Definitely not going to be too happy if that happens. A little bit of lag there, jeez. Jill's going to catch a level up. Let's see something good, please. Hit point, strength, speed, defense. Oh my gosh, ask and thou shalt receive. Amazing. What's in this chest, anyways? It is an energy drop. Okay, so I can kind of see why that's pretty well guarded. Who's gonna want that? Hmm, there's actually a few viable candidates for this one. Quite a few. Quite possibly Ike, to be honest. <laughs> he needs to play a little bit of catch up. How do I want to go about this? I would rather not have. Khalil taking damage, although I guess it doesn't truly matter. And I'd also rather not waste the spear on that. Does Toronto get doubled? He of course does. Yeah, you know, I guess we'll just have Khalil attack. Why not? This probably doesn't go wrong. I have a lot of things in my favor, and also she can just crit, so that's great. <laughs> ah, yes! Fantastic! I, I swear, she, like, I don't remember it being this good. I remember it being kind of average, to be honest, but, like, I also wasn't very good at Fire Emblem in the past. I'll put that out there right now. Full disclaimer. So maybe that's why I I don't remember her being amazing, but she is. Make no mistake, she's amazing. Let's give this kill to Ike. I don't really want to risk more reinforcement spawning, so it's to my benefit to clear these guys out now. And besides, Toronio gets to do things. Yeah, that's a guilt break. Absolutely. I still can't believe I forgot that Toronio comes with an occult scroll. <sighs> you know, it's not even worth commenting on, really, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Uh... Yeah, the vast majority of my units should still probably just piss off, I think. I can start breaking down this door as well. If I don't have a javelin on him, go figure. Totally forgot to give a new weapon to Titania, but that's fine. 
doesn't really matter. Like I said, I can force a lot of them to attack at melee. This shouldn't break the door, right? No, not a chance. I should be holding on to Boyd? Where does it say? Oh, right, duh, right there in the top. Hello? Where's my brain? See, I think we're good. Probably gonna start cutting out until I start hitting some of these treasure rooms. Because really, it's just gonna be a lot of movement and Titani killing a lot of things. Yeah, she's gonna catch a level up before we do that. Oh, she's getting so close to promotion. Defense resistance, bleh. Trash. Trash. Okay, let's see what's behind this door. Kieran should be able to break it, right? Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Hey, two snipers. Okay, we can deal with that pretty easily. Pretty easily, I should say. Oh, they have silver bows though, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. They're pulling out all the stops for this one, man. Let's see Boyd's shiny new animation. And yes, and a crit. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I like that. It reminds me of the uh, the 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 Definitely no joke. I think I should be able to blitz past these guys and then form like a barrier. So I'll use Stefan in combination with Titani for that. Let's heal up Stefan before we do that though. Before we get ourselves killed, we shall check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. I forget who said that, but I do believe it was a Greek philosopher of some sort. Now by doing this, they're not going to be able to bypass us and Titani is not going to die. I've, I've just decided she's not. In fact, I'm going to take the hand axe off her. Or uh, take the hand axe off Jill so that Titania can even retaliate. Yeah, we should be good with that. Now, some combination between Zahark, Braum, and Oscar should get the job done here. Methinks. Yeah, let's do it. As long as I don't miss a 90. Okay, thank God. I'll go in with Oscar first, I suppose. Uh, what's my most accurate choice here? I guess the Killer Lance? I don't really like that I put myself in this position. I won't miss, though. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to crit him instead. I actually kind of didn't want him to because Zahark's just getting robbed here. That was supposed to be his moment. Oh, well, nothing I can do about that. I guess he can start working on this door. I can send him back to the Warriors, but realistically, if he gets hit twice, he's done. Like, he's a dead man if he gets hit twice. Although, thinking on it... Yeah, thinking on it, he doesn't really do much anywhere else. So I guess that's the way to go. In the grand scheme of things, right? Okay, like, redeem yourself. There we go. If anything, I guess I shouldn't complain, right? That's even more experience for Ike. And Lord knows he needs it. Sure, why not, Khalil? Break down this wall. You'd think a lightning bolt would be more effective at destroying a door, but I guess not. Ugh. Don't really want to waste the spear on that. Really no reason to. I will, however, use the spear to draw this guy over to Ike, just because more experience for him is really just about the only thing I need at this point. See, so yeah, let's do that. That wasn't a crit, was it? No. Oh, thank God. I thought that was a crit. I thought I was about to be so mad. Oh, Tyronio's really strong, huh? <laughs> Never mind. My bad, Ike. That right there is a good example of how ridiculous Resolve is, though. I was able to one-shot that guy for crying out loud. I don't have people that can... I don't have anybody else that can really do that, <laughs> to be honest. I guess I could start having... Marcia deal with Ina, but it doesn't really matter if I do or don't because I still have quite a bit of treasure to grab. There goes my javelin. Surprise, surprise. Oh, what is that guy doing? And from here on out, they're gonna all be retaliated on, so that's great. 
I still love how nonchalant some of the dodge animations in this game are. Swordmasters don't care. Snipers don't care. Oh, if I could get Volk some combat. His dodge animation is like so weird. It's it's instantaneous. It's like Dragon Ball Z, like on some instant transmission shit. It's crazy. Okay, if I go with Oscar here, I might be comfortable in giving Zahark a kill, which would be nice. So if Oscar can hit this. Come on, Oscar, my dude. Yeah, there we go. Not bad, not bad. I wasn't actually in any danger from making that move, but it does give me an opportunity to spread out experience a little bit better. Because Zahark should be able to kill either of these guys. Well, well, this guy. He should be able to kill this guy. And if things went horribly south, I could still rescue with Titania. I would prefer not to have to do that, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, from here I can kill this guy with Stefan. And then I have a reasonably good shot of killing the other guy outright with Titania if I use the Killer Axe. And from there, both Zahark and Stefan should be just fine. I mean, really, the chance of me... The chance of this going south is just... It's so low. It's so low. And I say that, but it's probably gonna happen. Let me see a soul crit. Soul crit. Nah, but that's fine. Yeah, you teach that walk a little. I mean, I guess I might as well start to go after Ina, right? There's really no reason not to. What does she have to say? Ooh, does she have her own battle music? I think she does. I think that's new. Hmm. I like it. If you would wish to extend your short lifespan, then you should not have appeared before me. I don't know, that just doesn't seem appropriate now that she's a big badass dragon. Oh, and we dodged. Nice! That wasn't likely at all. Oh, and of course we adept. <laughs> I made her look like a pushover. Well, Marcia made her look like a pushover. She's actually kind of a threatening boss. It's just that, you know, Marcia. <laughs> well, she did her best. She did her very best. <laughs> that's that's funny to me. That's funny to me. The game hypes her up as this big badass. And she, again, she is. She has really threatening stats. But they just didn't account for how broken this game is, really. Oh, they're going to run. You think you can run from me, do you? I got bad news, son. You can't. Man, Zahark is just getting robbed, though. I'm trying to give him some glory here, but... At every turn, he's just getting blocked by the game. And now I kind of have to kill this guy because I really don't want him to attack Mist. <laughs> yeah, really don't want Mist to die. Crazy, I know, but... I think that it's to my advantage. Yeah, I'll use Titania there because then I can kill this Sage so that he's not going to be harassing me as I approach the treasure room. Yeah, seems good. I guess Braum can kill the warrior. Even Oscar, really. Did I just steal the soul of a door? Did I soul on the door? <laughs> it doesn't seem like that should be possible. Anyways, what's in this chest? It is a talisman. Not the end of the world, really. I could have missed out on that and been just fine. Although I suppose if we're going to continue the trend of status dabs and siege tomes, that could be nice to have. Let's get Volk down here as well. How do I want to set up for the next one? I, I don't even know. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to try and give this to Brom because he's also incredibly close to promoting. Oh yeah, I don't lose anything from this at all. This is the way to go for sure. And then I'll easily be able to bonus experience him up to promotion after this chapter. All right. So he made it. Pretty much. I hope I can. I don't know. It's, I feel like I'm taking a long time on this one. But it is a pretty long map, especially if you're trying to get all the treasure. I gotta say, you know, definitely not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Though I, again, I saw, I like, I took one look at this map and I thought, oh god, here we go, Fire Emblem Six. But no, this is honestly much better. This is much better. You can also circumvent a lot of this like pointless treasure gathering or whatever you want to call it. If I would have brought Soth along, but I'm not a madman, so we're just gonna do this the old-fashioned way and have Volk do it. Okay, and in this door we have. No more siege tomes. No more siege tomes. A sword ma no two sword masters and two member dods. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to clear out all of these guys in one turn, unfortunately. There's just no way. Yeah, there's really just no way. 
How does the not Stefan, but uh, Volk? How does he do in there? Not very well. Jill does all right. Jill does all right. If I can get a hit here, which I might be able to, courtesy of Titania's support. I kind of forgot that Boyd and Titania had his support. To be honest, <laughs> it's been a while. But from here, I should just be able to throw in Jill, and she should be able to hold her own, I think. I mean, obviously, I would prefer to be able to kill multiple of these units so that I can make it safe for Volk, but I just don't see that happening. Should probably think about this guy, too. He's kind of a jerk, right? Yeah, I guess Jill it is. She's, like, she's completely safe by doing this. So might as well. Off with the animations. Yeah, I guess I'll have Titania kill this guy or or severely weaken him anyways. I could play ballsy. <laughs> could definitely play ballsy. Is there any chance of him getting crit? I don't think there is. I mean 1%. Okay, there's 1% chance this goes wrong. Actually there's more because I could I could crit. I can crit, and that would actually be horrible, so I should probably not do that. Yeah, I should really probably not do that. I was gonna have Volk attack this guy, and then, like... Well, not attack him, but... But just end his turn in here. Oh, wait, I could've... I think I still can. Because I really don't want to be waiting around for this, and I'd rather... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do this. This looks dangerous, but it's actually not. We'll get a Thoron. Oh, yes, please. That's pretty good. 10 might, 85 hit, 5 crit, 7 weight. Oh, yeah. Khalil can put that to... He's little off. Khalil can put that to some use for sure. Oh, no, she's only got B rank. Never mind. That's a little bit uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I'll just have Titania start working on this guy. And then I guess Oscar can work on this guy. And provided that I keep Mist out of range, we're totally fine. A crit would have been fantastic, Oscar. Sure do know how to let me down. Sure do know how to let me down. Is there anybody I can heal? No, nobody's injured. Yeah, absolutely nobody in range is injured. That's sort of unfortunate. Let's turn the animations on just so we can see what Volk looks like as an assassin. I could heal Jill, but like, no. That's such a huge waste. Yeah, that'd be a huge waste. We'll move in with, uh... Brahm and Zorg, I suppose. No reason not to, really. And Ike's just gonna move on over to the throne. Any minute now. Please, no more reinforcements. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this guy's gonna attack here, and McKieran can take it easily. Yeah, that was pathetic. Is that the best you've got? I should hope not. Yeah, and cleaning up the rest of this room is gonna be... It's gonna be no issue. No issue whatsoever. Really, I'm just trying to see what Volk's animations look like. Or rather, show them, because they're pretty cool. See that? He's like, phew, dodge. It's crazy. It's like some old anime shit, to be perfectly honest. And people say Fire Emblem just now recently got anime. So here's the Corrosion Scroll. It's useless. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing more to it. It has, like, a skill percent chance, I think. Of activating, and when it does, it takes off a large number of uses from the enemy weaponry. But the only time that would ever be relevant in any way, shape, or form would be against, like, a Siege Dome or something. Which, 
I mean, in that case, yeah, it would be nice, but it's really unreliable regardless, so you can't exactly count on it, I would say. It's useless, really. It's hardly worth the money that you can sell it for. Now this guy can get bopped by Jill. I'll just break the stomper just so I don't miss. I might be able to skewer this guy. Oh, not quite, not quite. No biggie. Once again, nobody in range is actually in any danger of dying whatsoever. I should probably move Boyd, though, just in case things go south, but they shouldn't. Yeah, we should be okay. Come on. Come on! Maybe I can even promote... Br well, no. Very doubtful. Very doubtful. <laughs> I was going to say maybe I can promote him just by killing this guy, but nah. I don't see that happening. Very unlikely, to say the least. Jill won't die, right? She has, like, good defense. Oh, no, no way. 24 minus... Man, the longbow is so weak. Only 5 might. Only five might. That is sad. That is sad. That wouldn't even cut it in a game where effective is three times. Boyd dodging a Myrmidon. Man, what a wild time to be alive. Now, nah, surely I'll get enough bonus experience to promote him. Surely I will. There's no way. So I'm just going to give this to Jill. And then I can attempt to give the Myrmidon to Boyd. And I'm just going to do that until he eventually wins. Because, like, he'll get a level up. And I want to level up. And that's really all there is to it. Here we go, Jill. Let's see it. You got a good one last time. And you got this this time. Okay. Well, thanks for showing up at least, I guess. Uh, okay, Boyd, redeem yourself. Redeem Jill. Steel Axe, yeah. That was such a bad level up, that actually made me a little...